Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be servicing this uh, Audi A4. Uh, this particular model is uh, 2011 and the engine size is 2 litre. So to start off with, uh, we're going to go under the car to remove the under tray. Just going to show you, which is secured by a couple of uh, screws to gain access to the oil drain plug. Right, there we go friends, I've taken the under tray off and uh, here is the oil sump. And the location for the drain plug is just here so we're going to be using the 19 mil socket to undo the oil drain plug it's always recommended to run the engine for five minutes uh, and then drain the engine oil Right, now that we have uh, drained all the engine oil, just gonna insert the drain plug back in. Make sure you put a new washer. There you go. So just gonna torque it up. There we go, that, that's good enough. So now we're gonna put the under tray back onto the car. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the oil filter. So for the oil filter we'll need to remove this uh, engine cover which is secured by a couple of dampers. There we go. So the location for the oil filter is just here. Right, uh, in order to remove the oil filter cover we're going to be using a 32 mil socket and the ratchet. So just gonna pull it out. There we go. So that's the oil filter out of the way. Yeah. Right, so just gonna pull the filter out. There we go. So that's the old oil filter out of the way. Right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these o rings one here, two and the third one here so we will have to take all these old o-rings off and uh, fit the new ones there we go that's one of them one here There we go, so this is the second o-ring. And the third one is here. Here comes the new oil filter. Just gonna fit the new oil filter. There we go. So that's the new oil filter fully home. Three new oil rings to fit. Just gonna slide over the bigger ring first. That's the main O-ring fully home. So next we're gonna slide over the medium size O-ring just here and then the small one goes here. There we go. So that's all three O-rings 
nicely fitted there we go so you always hand tighten the filter first to make sure that the thread is nicely done up so we're just gonna hook it up now So the torque on these uh, oil filter caps are five newton meter. So that's that nicely done. Right now that we have fitted the oil filter, so we're just going to put the cover back on the engine top cover. There we go. Next, we're gonna change the air filter, which is located here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this uh, pipe here, intake pipe, so that we can get to the screws. There are six of them, three, three on each side to remove the lid. We're just gonna loosen this jubilee clamp. So I'm using a seven mil socket. Remove this pipe. There we go. So now we've got the full access to the wall six screws. Right. Also, we need to remove this uh, intake uh, component. So for that, what we're gonna do is. There are two clips on each side. One on this side. So that's the uh, intake uh, piece out of the way. We're gonna use uh, our T27 to remove uh, six screws that's going to allow the lid to come off just going to take the cover off air filter out of the way just gonna remove the leaves apart from that it looks pretty much clean the housing here here comes the new air filter we're using a cross line air filter there we go just gonna slide it in fully home and the cover goes back on just gonna torque up the, the screws So that's the air filter cover fully secured. So next, uh, we're gonna slide in this uh, pipe. 
which is outlet pipe from uh, from the air filter going into the turbo. Seven mil socket to scale this jubilee clamp. Nice and tight. Next, we're gonna fit this component. So the way it goes in is like this. So that's the air filter nicely being replaced. Right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the fuel filter on this Audi F4. And the location for the fuel filter is uh, under the driver's seat. So make sure that the car is nicely scared on the access stance. So we'll have to remove this trim here. Okay, it's a quite long piece which we'll have to remove to get to the fuel filter. Just going to show you the nylon nuts which we need to remove. As you go along, couple here, and then the whole thing needs to needs to be dropped down to get to the fuel filter. So just gonna remove this cover, and then I'm gonna make the video of the main procedure, which is to remove the fuel filter. Right here we go, friends. I've taken the under tray off. Okay, I was uh, wrong. So the location for the fuel filter is uh, just under the footwell of the driver's side, just here. So these were the fixings here, and a couple of them here, which we had to remove. Just gonna remove uh, this uh, clamp here. It's uh, scared by 10 mil nut. There you go, and then the clamp just pulls out like this. It's just an inline filter, so we need to undo this uh, side clamp and the one on the other side here to just pull it off so just gonna do that with the pliers there you go so that's the back side of it removed right so just gonna remove the front clamp which is just here so for that I took the screw off just here so that we can bend this trim at the front I'll put a container underneath, so just gonna disconnect the fuel intake pipe first. And then a one from this side. There we go. So that's the old fuel filter. It's nicely been removed. Here comes the new filter. So it says uh, in and out here. So, and the arrow. 
So just gonna push it all the way in like this. And the pipe on this side. There we go. Just gonna steer the clips. There we go. Last uh, inlet clip nicely skewed. We're just gonna steer the outlet clip. There we go. So now that we have skewered uh, both of the clips, both sides, this side, the fuel inlet and fuel outlet clips, just gonna show you. Okay, so they both are skewered. So now we're gonna fit the clamp. Right, so the way the clamp fits in is like this. We're just gonna skew the 10 mil nut uh, on the clamp. And that's the fuel filter nicely being tightened. Right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the pollen filter on this uh, Audi A4. So the location for the pollen filter is uh, under the passenger side footwell area. So here are the clips to remove three of them. So just gonna pull the cover. So the location is just under here. So just gonna slide the cover like this. I'm gonna pull out the pollen filter. There we go. So that's the pollen filter taken off. So we're going to be using the cross line filter as a replacement part. Like for like. Right, just going to slide in the new filter. It's gonna fit the cover so the way the cover gets fitted is like this there we go so just gonna push it all the way in there we go hear the click so that's the cover nicely been fitted so next we're gonna fit this uh, trim here just gonna fit the trim now gonna slide it in here like this all the way there you go that's one that's two and the third one goes here friends that's the pollen filter nicely been replaced on this Audi A4 right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill the engine up with uh, engine oil we are using uh, Hyperlube C3 fully synthetic 530 engine oil so this uh, particular car this particular engine which is a 2 liter diesel takes 5 liters of uh, engine oil so we're just gonna pour all of it in the engine Right, there we go friends. So just gonna replace the oil refill cap. 
back onto the engine there we go that's the service nicely done on this car i hope this video is going to help you service your car